Yo, Sakafed. In this video, I am gonna show you how to mix Afrobeat lead vocal in FS Studio 24. I'm gonna make sure to save the vocal chain that we create and then link it in the description box so you can download it. It's gonna be free. So this song we're going to mix today, I think this song we created in 2020, me and Boy Priest. Sammy and the beat. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is an old beat, guys. Yeah. Still vibe. Okay, guys, we are going to work on this part right here. This is the so first thing you can see is like we have some very peak in this vocal right here. Let's say that we want to fix it. I think I am going to just chop this right here, chop this right here, and then take it down a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing right here this and then this take it down a little bit uh, you do that before you do your compression that's gonna help and it's gonna be less work for your compressor so let's normalize this and then we take down the gain and then let's call it lead our lead and then we want it to a mixer track the first plugin i always love to add is a console emulation you can find one in analog obsession which is a free plugin you go to console but i am going to use the one that come with the wave bundle uh it's called the nls you have the nls channel and then the nls boss the nls channel is for channel and then the nls boss is for when you're creating your boss I am gonna go with the NLS channel and I love the Nive because I think I use one of them and it was fire. When using this dry button, you add harmonic to your signal. The next plugin is gonna be for sure uh, a tuning plugin. Let's use the wave tune real time too. Uh, and I think. Our song is on C minor, if I remember. Sound nice for now. And the next thing is gonna be adding a compressor. I'm gonna use the far filter for C2. With the first compressor, I'm going to attenuate the peak. For example, when you are I'm just going to attenuate those high peaks. That's good. That's good. And now we are going to write our lead vocal to the boss let's right click right here and then what to this track only sorry uh comment z right to this track only and then we call this one vocals i think we have vocal right here and then right click and then you're gonna you can dock it to the right or to the left i love to dock them to the right and then the next thing is gonna be adding another console it's gonna be the nls boss now we're all gonna to use the boss 
You know, when you add those harmonic to your vocal, make the vocal sound more rich. And now it's time to clean the vocal. I am going to use the FL Studio parametric EQ. And now we are going to do a swipe to see bad frequencies and then we can cut them down. We on the low single put you on the cover then I put one finger you see one finger the way you do me your mug Okay Wait one the nice see one the na I be your expender We on the low single put you on the cover then I put one finger you see one finger the way you do me your mug They do me or you want and no fee complain cuz I get the power and I fee contain the way you put it on me yeah Normally, I don't like to cut a lot on my lead vocal because I want my lead vocal to sound natural. So next thing is gonna be using a compressor. I am going to use the SSL Boss compressor, but you can find an alternative in the analog obsession bundle called the Buster SE. Buster SE, but I am going to use the one from SSL. SSL Boss compressor. I love using this in my boss, even in my ma on my master boss. Wait, one the nice to see, one the na I be your expender. We on the low single put you on the cover then I put. With this, you go on slow attack and then you can leave the release on auto. Wait, one the nice to see, one the. Over sampling is like that's gonna add more quality to your signal. Wait, one the nice to see, one the na I be your expender. Sound nice already, but the next plugin is gonna be um the SSL um Violet EQ. I have the same EQ in my rack right here. I'll use it a lot when I'm mastering or if I'm working on a lead vocal and I wanna wipe them to analog gear that I have here. So the plugin works well too. Even this audio interface right here i only use it when i'm mixing when i'm working on the final mix and then i'm gonna export it because the converter on this one is so good and also when i'm mastering the better is your converter the highest quality you would get so and now we are going to use a plugin that i start using lately I think it's called uh, the what is his name again? Hmm. Sutu. I didn't even buy it yet. I just take the um the free version and then I'm gonna use it, try it, and then when my trial is done, I'm gonna for sure buy it because it's good. It sounds very good. We are going to go to the preset and use the um let's use the the sir i'm going to exaggerate so you can hear the effect that sound fire already if we deactivate the effect for this video i am going to add the reverb directly on the track but if you're working on a project that have different lead vocal and you want to create a boss for the reverb you can copy the same reverb that i created and then you add it to your boss and after you can send your vocal to the track that has the reverb on it so i think it's very easy so because we have this mix button it's easy you can definitely add it on directly on your track
With this plugin, you can try different color. And also, always remember to apply a low coat on your uh, weaver. One thing I love with this weaver is that it's like you have the EQ directly on your weaver. You don't even need to go and then apply another plugin. You just have the EQ on the plugin, integrated on the plugin. That is so good. So the next thing is gonna be adding a weaver, a delay. Sorry. Um, let's use the fluty delay too, and then let's go with the ping pong. This is my favorite <laughs> setting with this delay. I leave the bass on this vocal because they are not sound boomy and it sounds very, very good. Now we are going to make the vocal sound a little bit much more fuller. Uh, I don't know if that's the word, but we are going to make it sound full. And let's write this track right here. Make sure you select this track and then you write it to this track. Wow. It's like you create a set. And then the plugin we're going to add is gonna be the uh, double. Uh, let's use the double for stereo. This is going to create um, back vocal for you. So. If I exaggerate. The best way to achieve this is to try to find the sweet spot between feeling and hearing. It's like you don't need to hear the double, you need to feel it. For example, when you're mixing, when you activate and deactivate, it's like you feel that it missed something when you deactivate it, and when you activate it, you feel that the vocal is stronger. That's how you do it. You just need to feel it and I'm going to uh, change the color on this one so I can identify it. So we have this one right here. We can dock it to the left, to the right, sorry. And now we are going to write this to another track. And let's say we write to this track. Now we are going to do something called parallel compression. So we load a compressor on this one. Let's say that we are going to use this the Lala from analog obsession. And then we are going to crank it. And now we are going to blend the original source with this. You can see how clean this vocal sound, guys. And this is the basic of mixing vocal. When you have a good recording vocal, it's going to be this easy for you to mix it. For the background vocal, you have to add more reverb, make it sound a little bit different. And also, don't forget that your back vocal is going to be there just to support the lead vocal. The lead vocal is the main event. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to create another video on mixing the background vocal to complete this song. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. I hope guys that you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question about mixing and mastering, you can ask them in the comment. I will make sure to answer them. Don't forget to download the vocal chain we create today. It's going to be linked in the description box. Yeah, that's it. And see you in the next one.